Look to your covenant, O Lord, and forget not the life of your poor ones forever. Arise, O God, and defend your cause, and forget not the cries of those who seek you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who wonderfully chose the priest St. John Eudes to proclaim the unfathomable riches of Christ, grant us by his example and teaching that growing in knowledge of you, we may live faithfully by the light of the gospel. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Joshua. Joshua gathered together all the tribes of Israel at Shechem and addressed them, saying, Fear the Lord and serve him completely and sincerely. Cast out the gods your father served beyond the river and in Egypt and serve the Lord. If it does not please you to serve the Lord, decide today whom you will serve the gods your fathers served beyond the river or the gods of the Amorites in whose country you are dwelling. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. But the people answered, Far be it from us to forsake the Lord for the service of other gods. For it, is, for it was Lord our God who brought us and our fathers up out of the land of Egypt, out of the state of slavery. He performed those great miracles before our very eyes and protected us along our entire journey and among all the peoples through whom we passed. At our approach, the Lord drove out all the people, including the Amorites who dwell in the land. Therefore, we will also serve the Lord, for he is our God. Joshua, in turn, said to the people, you may not be able to serve the Lord, for he is a holy God. He is a jealous God who will not forgive your transgressions or your sins. If after the good he has done for you, you forsake the Lord and serve strange gods, he will do evil things to you and destroy you. But the people answered Joshua, We will still serve the Lord. Joshua therefore said to the people, you are your own witness that you have chosen to serve the Lord. They replied, We are indeed. Joshua continued, Now therefore, put away the strange gods that you are among you, and turn your hearts to the Lord, the God of Israel. Then the people promised Joshua, We will serve the Lord our God and obey his voice. So Joshua made a covenant with the people that day and made statutes and ordinances for them at Shechem, which he recorded in the book of the law of God. Then he took a large stone and set it up there under the oak that was the sanctuary of the Lord. And Joshua said to all the people, This stone shall be our witness. For it has heard all the words which the Lord spoke to us. It shall be a witness against you. 
Should you wish to deny your God, then Joshua dismissed the people, each to his own heritage. After these events, Joshua, son of Nun, servant of the Lord, died at the age of 110. The word of the Lord. Thanks, 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 God. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. You are my inheritance, O Lord. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart extorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. You will sow me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Children were brought to Jesus that he might lay his hands on them and pray. The disciples rebuked them, but Jesus said, Let the children come to me, and do not prevent them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. After he placed his hands on them, he went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> Our gospel is another reminder or another analogy for us about the kingdom of God belonging to children, where we must acquire the heart of the child to enter the kingdom of heaven. And what is that childlike aspect that we need is that trust, that great faithfulness, that great joy, that great love that we are able to see in children that it seems that our Lord wants. Oftentimes we might see that as single-mindedness, that when a child is upset, you know they're upset. When a child is happy, you know that they are happy. And when a child is in that state, we know how they have that single-mindedness to continue or to try to get out of that state. For us, we need to have that single-minded devotedness toward our Lord, that we see our Lord and try to continue to do His will in our lives with that joy, with that great passion, with that great innocence, as well as that great drive. For through that, we are able to approach the Lord knowing who the Lord is and knowing who we are as the children of God. That as God has entered into our lives, our Lord has brought us to his family and baptism. So as we receive that, we become the children of God. And so in that, we know of all those great glories that God continues to give to us and our responses to them. My dear sisters and brothers, let's continue to strive to be children of God. Let's continue to strive to have that great single-mindedness in our love for God, as well as having those great attributes 
of those who are childlike, so that we might continue to be childlike and not childish as we struggle in that way of continuing to, uh, so as we continue to uh, uh, be on our ways of growing closer and closer to God each and every day and closer to our neighbor so that we might continue on that journey towards the Lord and towards the eternal kingdom. My dear sisters and brothers, faithful in our service of God, let us offer our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. That the disciples of Jesus may remain single-hearted in service of the gospel, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That the idols of money and power may be cast down, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That the idols of youth and beauty may give way to the love of all people, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That the sick may show us the beauty of faithfulness in difficulty, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may serve God at home, at work, and in all we do, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the St. Paul VI deacons and their families, as well as for peace in our world, especially in Ukraine. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithfulness of the dead may carry them to heavenly glory, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for your own intention. For the end of abortion in the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Lord, help us be the bearers of the fruit of the Holy Spirit in our daily life. Love, peace, joy, patience, kindness, gentleness, generosity, and self-control. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all these prayers and those in the sounds of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Blessed are you, God of heaven and earth, for you alone are God. Cast down our idols and show us your face, that we may serve only you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Just water and wine, finish with this, your Christ who owned himself to share the kingdom with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will be calm for our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of your name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, and in your mercy you give them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to be thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands and he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of God. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Hugh, St. Paul the Sixth, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. But not in our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you shine under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
O Jerusalem, glorify the Lord, who gives you your fill of finest foods. Let us pray. May the communion of the sacraments, may the communion in your sacraments that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Let us pray a Hail Mary for the needs of our church, of our world, and of our community. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us pray a prayer to our Mother of Mothers. Mother of Mothers, Holy Queen, Chosen before all women to be the mother of the Son of God. Mary, my mother, in your maternity, has so sanctified the city of Holy Mother. Imploring thee, I come to you. Humbly, I beseech you. Confidently, I trust in you. I know that you can, by all the heart of intercession, help me in my need. In you, I take refuge, dear Virgin. For in me, I place my hope entirely in you. I relinquish all confidently in your hands. Betray not my own trust, but hear my petitions and come to my aid. Dear Mother of Mothers, Amen. Mother of Mothers, pray for us. 